Welcome to Retro Ford. Today we're going to be fitting one of our alternator kits, part number Z100. Uh, this is if the kit that you buy it you, in its entirety, you get the alternator, you get all the bracketry, the belt, and everything. I'm going to run through how to fit it on the car and how it works with the water pump. So, the first thing you need to do, we're working on a brand new black top SeaTech engine here, um, but it will also fit an SD170 as well. So the first thing we need to do on this engine to allow us to be able to fit the adjuster bracket is to remove this pulley here. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can either, if you've got it, the luxury of an impact gun, because this wants to turn and it's very difficult to hold. So you can either do it with an impact gun. Should you not have an impact gun, then if you can hold this like that, you can lock it off there and then undo, undo these in turn. So we're going to do it with an impact gun because we've got that luxury. Uh, but should you be struggling to get that undone, you can either hold it like that or alternatively some of the oil filter um, wrenches you get, uh, this is like a fabric one you can put around that which won't damage it, you can use that as well. So first we're going to remove this so that we can fit our bracketry and then I'll run through the bracketry and explain where it goes. So. Typically on a, uh, a ZTEC engine, you've got all sorts of ancillaries. Um, you've got air conditioning pumps, power steering pumps. So we need to put a pulley in place of that so that the belt run is correct and it runs serpentine around the back of the belt. Now what serpentine means is it runs on the back of the belt. So the water pump on a black top um, needs to turn in a particular direction. Now, we, we don't upset that, we, we turn it the same way as Ford, so that's what our bracketry is designed to do. So if we come over here and look at the bracketry, we're gonna put this together now. And the way we've done it is that the alternator is a stationary item uh, and, and doesn't adjust it like a lot of traditional cross-flow and pinto brackets. So what we're using is a tensioner here. Now you get this in the kit, this part here fits on the back of there and this is a, effectively a snail tensioner. This bolt here holds that on and then you, you leave that loose, you just nip it up a little bit like that and then come back and just leave it so it will revolve and I'll, I'll explain all this later. So if you now come up to the engine you can see that this bracketry wants to go here. So the two forward bolts that are in here uh, that one's not long enough and that one needs to be countersinked to mix the back of the pulley. So you need to remove both of those. So I'm going to remove those now. I've done these up finger tight so that uh, for the use of the video it makes a bit more sense. So yeah, you remove both of those and then with the bolts provided, all the bolts come in the kit and it, it, should you purchase the full kit then there's nothing else you need to get your car to charge and turn the water pump in the correct rotation. So. The bracketry is here for that. Uh, you get a longer bolt for the front here. Now this, this has got some witness marks on it because we've had this on and off this engine. This is sort of a mock-up engine that we're using for videos. So that goes there. And then you see that locates on one of the water pump ones. So we supply a countersink bolt for that. So uh, and when putting anything together, it's always advisable to get all the bolts in something before you do it up. So you don't want to do that bolt up really tight and then try and get that bolt in. You want to do everything so it's all nice and relaxed. So once you've got that in there, you can go around and you can nip those up. So that's that bracket now fitted. Um, and now we can fit the idler pulley which comes in the kit. Again this is ready to fit and again none, th these parts they, they don't want to be done up tight because you're going to use your snail tensioner there to give you the correct tension on the belt. So once you've fitted that What you want to do is nip that up so it's just got a tiny bit of play, a little bit more than that. I'll nip that up a little bit more than that. So 
So nip it up and then back it off a little bit and then that slides up and down nicely there. So next is the alternator bracket itself. Now this has got four fixing holes and this attaches here. So again, when you're putting anything together like this, don't go putting one bolt in and doing it up tight. Put all the bolts in and make sure that the bracket's relaxed and it's not fighting in any way. Once you've got that in, you can go around and nip it, nip it all up. So that's the bracket on, and now the alternator fits on and again this this bracketry this bolts on here now you might find that this distance between the here is, is slightly bigger than the bracket now that's because uh, this has got a sliding tube in it and as you do it up that tube pushes in and pulls up on the bracket so once you fitted that on there make it look easy don't I there you go Again, don't do any bolts up until you've got them all in. So that should then come up and that will line up with this bracket here. And then that bolt, that, that's then a fixed unit. So once you've got that on there, you can go on with, with tightening that up. So once you've done that up, you'll see that that tube there starts to slide in as you do it up. So once that's bottomed out on the bracket, then that's that tight. So you can nip that up. Then the same with the bracket on the top. You can do that up. And then that's your alternator fixed. And that's got no adjustment on it so all your adjustment is done on this bracket here so now you can refit this it's just a matter of putting your three bolts back in there all right so that's your alternator kit fitted now it's to put your belt on now you'll note that this belt is 5PK. Now 5PK means it's got five ribs in it um, and you'll notice that the pulleys have got six ribs on. Now the reason Ford will have put six ribs on is because the engine will have had to have run air conditioning and power steering and as such you, you, you need more drag coefficient to pull the belt round. Uh, we're running an alternator, uh, a 70 amp alternator and a water pump so it, it doesn't need that and it's overkill and it's obviously more drag so there's, there's no reason for it. What we tend to do is when we put the 5PK belt on the sick rib pulleys and you could put a six rib belt on if you wanted to but it would be overkill so what, what we tend to do is run the, the pulley at the front there so it's a matter of putting the belt on like that, belt on like that and then making sure that your tensioner here on the back is all the way down. So that's all the way down and that's all the way up. What you want to be is you want to be all the way down. So the tensioner looks like that. And then normally the easiest way to get that on is to get it on all the pulleys and then pop it over the water pump one because that's got no ridge on it. And now you can see we've all got a bit of play there. So we now need to tension up the pulley. Now it, because this thing's quite powerful, this snail tensioner, you can quite easily over tension it. So. Typically as a, a rule of thumb on a belt like that, 
you want to easily on this portion of this portion be able to turn it 90 degrees that's normally a good indicator that you've got the required amount of tension on it if you put too much tension on it you can ruin the bearings in, in either water pump this pulley or the alternator itself so now what we're going to do is we're going to tension that up so what you what you need is on the back of here is a uh, a star drive and you can get that fit in there this isn't the right one but I'll get the right one for that there's a star drive in the back of there and by rotating that you can tension the pulley so turn that in a, uh, a clockwise and what you'll see is as I rotate that this belt here will get tighter so you'll see that as I rotate that you'll see the belt getting tighter now on this there is little flats on it and each one of those gives you slightly more tension and you'll feel it drop in and typically you'll see it like that and you at the fingers go and tension it well that that rotates quite past 90 quite easily so we would probably give that another one there one more I think yeah that's got a nice tension on it so it's now a matter of locking off the pulley so you can now lock this off and once you've locked this off the snail tensioner becomes redundant so you have the option to either nip up the tensioner or take it off because it's not doing anything but my advice really would be to uh, to do it up that way you're less likely to lose it because the next time you want to tension your alternator chances are you've lost this so nip that up and that is your alternator fixed so that's a 70 amp alternator that alternator will run pretty much anything from a rally car with a heated screen um, so the water pump, there isn't, there is only one water pump you can buy for a black top. There isn't a reverse impeller water pump, an OE version of that. Um, so if you've got a black top, it will have the correct water pump on it. There's no need for a reverse impeller water pump. This pulley here takes care of running the belt in the correct rotation. So that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and share all our videos uh, and we'll be back again soon.